Although a lot of us like to grouse about the cold, snowy weather, for some communities, that snow means big money. Join your sides, Danielle Church shows us how business in Ellicottville are benefiting down there, and they have the border reopening to thank for it. One of those businesses doing very well right now includes the gin mill. They see people nonstop on the weekend from opening to closing time. We were busy as soon as like the border opened and then it just kept getting more and more and more busy. So it's been it's been great. She says part of that success is because the restaurant has a live band every day. Then there's also another major help for business in Ellicottville the reopening of the U.S. Canada border in November. It's so nice to see them back and they definitely make a big difference in the town for sure. That includes over at Holiday Valley. I'm told Canadians aren't all rushing to Ellicottville. Instead, they're slowly making their way back due to a vaccination and testing requirement at the border. Still, business is moving in the right direction despite a slower and drier December. January picked right up when, when, when we started getting snow and um, people are so excited to go skiing this year, so great to have them. So if you would like to come out to Ellicottville, specifically Holiday Valley, but don't want to be around a whole lot of people, I'm told the slopes are a little bit slower on Sundays. Reporting in Ellicottville, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.